Here's a problem involving fractions. Let's read through it. Solve 3 halves minus x minus 3 divided by 3 equals 3x over 5. Well, uh, what do you do with the fractions? And it's possible to get common denominators and, and add these things together and work it this way. But um, it's not, not that practical. The, um, the, the best way to approach these is to find a way to rescale the problem so that there are, there are no more fractions. And so literally by rescaling, we're changing the size. When you, when you multiply by a number, you change, you change the size. And um, it, it turns out the least common denominator is your best choice for that purpose. So if you look at 2, 3, and 5, what would be the least common denominator of 2, 3, and 5? That would have to be uh, 30, wouldn't it? It would be 30. So my strategy here is to multiply the entire equation by, by 30. But first of all, I'm going to attend to one little detail. I'm going to put parentheses around that numerator. And uh, remember we said in the last video, the, the division line is a grouping symbol. What I want to remind you is that this grouping symbol, this division line, groups x minus 3 together as one thing. In other words, x minus 3 is being subtracted, not just the x. And so um, this, this is a pretty important step because because in this problem, this is where they're going to mess up the problem, is in the distribution. This is where students make that common mistake that I'm trying to get you to avoid. And so, anyway, that's the idea. Now, um, we decided that 30 is a good number to work with here. And, and why is that? Because 30 is the smallest number in which 2, 3, and 5 will all divide into, and nice, and, nice and neatly. And so, I'm going to multiply by 30 and if you prefer that's 30 over 1 but it's 30 we're multiplying by 30 and you know I can we can multiply an entire equation by a number we're going to distribute in other words every term gets multiplied by 30 so that gives me 30 times 3 halves minus 30 times x minus 3 over 3 equals 30 times 3x over 5. Now the miracle of this is that all the denominators disappear because like I said, the, when you multiply by a common denominator, um, the common denominator is, has each denominator as a, as a factor. In other words, the denominators will cancel out with the numerators. In other words, 2 goes into 30 15 times, 3 goes into 30 uh, 10 times, and 5 goes into 30 6 times. So look at that. No more fractions. So we, we magnified it. In a sense, we magnified this problem by a factor of 30, and all the, all the fractions went away, which makes it a lot easier to, to handle. Because now I've got 15 times 3 is 45 minus... 10 parentheses x minus 3 equals 6 times 3x is 18x. I wanted to write this out just to emphasize that we now have to distribute because um, people tend to um, do skip this step. They'll jump from here to my to my next step here down here below below. And they'll probably put a minus 3 instead of a plus 30. So Anyway, let's see what happens. This is 45 minus 10 times x. Minus 10 times x is minus 10x. And, as I said, this is the common error. People overlook this one. We should get plus 30, shouldn't we? Because it's minus 10 times minus 3 plus 30 equals 18x. All right, so you're thinking that, oh, okay, I understand that. I get that. Great. Um, if you don't do much practice, you'll probably make that mistake on, on a test. Trust me on this. I've been watching this for years. And uh, many, many people make those mistakes. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's finish up the problem. We can do a little uh, simplifying here. 45 plus 30 is 75 minus 10x equals to 18x. I'm going to add 10x to both sides. And 
we end up with 75 equals to 28x, and yes, that's visible. Okay, well, um, I'm out of room, but <clears throat> as you can see, our next step is to divide by 28. I would normally write divide by 28, but that will give us x equals to 75 over 28 as an answer. There we go. So, um, <clears throat> what's left? Well, some students like to write this as as a proper mixed fraction. I've left it as an improper fraction. It turns out that uh, when people go through arithmetic, they get brainwashed into thinking that you're never supposed to leave a fraction like this. And um, But then you get to algebra and you find out that everybody leaves fractions like this in algebra. This actually makes more sense because if I were to put this back in here to check the problem, we would want it in improper form. And so it's just the tradition in algebra that we don't worry about improper fractions. We do, however, I do expect you to reduce them, simplify them. And uh, this one does not simplify. There's no common number I can you know, reduce it by. So it's as simple as we can get it. Another mistake students make is they like to pull out their calculator at this point and punch that in. And I uh, have a, well, I guess I have a calculator right here. What is it? Oh, here's my favorite calculator. 75 divided by 28 is 2.67857142857, and it goes on and on and on, but that's, that's where it stops on my calculator. So, um, it, it took me a minute to find my calculator and punch it in, and now how many decimal points do I give? Uh, why, why, why go to that trouble? Just write the fraction. It's algebra, it's okay. Just write the fraction. Don't punch it on your calculator. In the real world, if you, if you need this decimal number, you can punch it on a calculator and use as many decimal points as you want to. Yeah, one mistake people make is they'll, they'll write 2.6 or 2.7 for the answer. You know, and they've cut it off so far that they've removed a lot of accuracy. So just keep it as a fraction. Make life simple that way. Okay, well, uh, there, there you have it. And, and again, please pay attention here. I've been trying to get people to not make this mistake through the years and uh, I'm trying yet one, one more time to do so. Now we could, um, we could also simplify the problem and, uh, I'm sorry, check the problem is what I meant by, by plugging that in there and it's a bit of work. Uh, why don't I just show you because probably some of you need a little bit of um, quick, quick arithmetic review so I'm going to check this without a calculator by using the fractions as is.